All right, so I've started setting up my database. I've got my database structure. I have all my different accounts in here. I've got all of my uh, different foreign keys put in and, and everything that like that, right? So if I go over to browse data, the first thing I'm going to do is make sure my uh, information is in. So if I click on bank account, I created a bank account. I made sure the account type is there as a one. I go into bank account types. I've got two different bank account types. I go into payee. All of my payees are there. Okay. And I like, I, I just want to remember what these are, right? Because if I want to say it's actually Kroger's with an apostrophe S, I don't want to change it everywhere, right? So um, I click on transaction categories. These are my categories. I can add more categories and then I have my transactions. Now I've only put in four transactions. If you start looking at this, <coughs> it's a little bit hard to like, all right, now what number was that? Oh, it's a bank account one uh, payee. What payee was that? So what I like to do is I like to have a, um, we'll move this out of the way. I like to just, I'm going to copy and paste. Um, I'm going to copy and paste all of this. So I'm just going to copy all of this and I'm going to go into Excel. Okay. Uh, here's Excel and I'm just going to paste it in. So I'm just going to paste. Okay. And it puts it in this format like this, right? And, and I know that this is not an Excel class, but I just want to show you a couple really easy, cool things, right? So if I go to data, I can say, you know, text to column and I can delimit it with comma. And when I do that, it puts it in column. It puts it in some columns. Okay. So I'm going to make these a little bit bigger so I can see them like so. Okay. And if you look at the database, so let's bring the database back over. If we look at the database, there's columns. Okay. So this first one's auto incremented. This is the date, but look at the format for the date. We have the transaction amount, then bank account, payee, and then transaction category. So if we come over here, we have transaction category, payee, amount, but we're missing bank account. So if I'm going to, I'm just going to right click and I'm going to insert here and I'm just going to put a one there because they all come out of that same bank, bank account. And if I double click, it'll just autofill all the way down. Okay. Again, not an Excel class. I'm just trying to like, um, show you what's going on. So the next thing I would do is say I've already got the first four here. So I'm just going to take those first four out. So I don't, I don't need those. Okay. Next thing I want to do is I want to get this date format in the right format. So I come over here, I select that whole row, I go back to home, and I come over here and say, it's not just regular date, let me go to more number formats, and then I'm going to click on date and find the right format, which is this format here. Okay, I'm going to click OK, and it puts it in the right format. Okay, so that's all the way down. Now, I want to change out these things here. Now there's not very many of them. If this was like a, uh, you know, a thousand, 2000, 3000 data sets, I might write something in like Python or even Excel that could go in and do a find and replace, right? Which I actually technically could do a find and replace. I could say find everywhere where it says gas. And, um, let's, let's look here. I went ahead and, and this is in the assignment for, um, number five. I put this in here. These are, I just copied and pasted the into an excel spreadsheet right out of the table so i know paycheck is one car payment is a five kroger is a one georgia power is a three uh checking is one right so we want to change out these to not be the actual words we want them to be numbers right so i'm going to come over here and say burger king wherever it says burger king give it a four okay so i'm only i only went to burger king once so i don't have to do it like anything crazy it's just a four kroger is a lot. So it's two, right? So I'm going to come wherever there's a Kroger, I'm going to put a two. Okay. Like so all the way down. Kroger is a two. Okay. Freddy's. If I look over in my list, Freddy, I have is number seven. You might have it as something different. Again, there's no meaning in these numbers except what it is inside the other table. Five star Honda where I pay my car payment is six. And I've done that three times. Georgia power for electricity is three. So let's do that three um, mom is eight and my rental is five and the star theater is a one okay so i have all of the payees in then i want to do the same thing for my transaction type right so paycheck is one 
So if I come down and say, here's my paycheck. So I got a paycheck there. I got a paycheck there. Okay. Then groceries is number six. So I can just say six, six, and six. Car payment is um, five. So let's just do that. We'll do five, five, five. And as you can see, that it makes perfect sense, right? You just go through and you just keep changing them out, changing them out. Income is three. Again, it doesn't matter what order you put them in as long as you know what it is inside your other database. You don't want to associate this gas, which I have as an eight. If you associated, if you put gas at 10, you better put 10 there, okay? So fast food is uh, seven. So let's just knock that out. Rent payment is, we're almost done, two. And electricity is four. And movies, the last one is nine. All right, so I've got that. I'm going to come over here and I'm just going to select all. Remember, you got to make sure you add that column for bank accounts so that they match up. I come back over to my database here and they match up. So I want to go and if I look here, I notice I have 19 rows. Okay. So I'm going to come back over here and I'm going to push the little 19 button here 19 times. So, you know, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Okay. I simply select inside the first cell that I that I want to paste it in. And it's going to get pasted from here all the way down to here. And I just control V to paste. And it says it's bigger. Do you want to paste it anyways? Yes. And it fills out the whole thing. And I'm all done putting my data in. It's that easy. Of course, I want to write changes.